Hey guys, what's up? This week, we're gonna take a look at the Paranoid Android ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. That's the international variant. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Paranoid Android ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so first things first, we've gotta download the Paranoid Android ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 and it's currently on version 3.0 and that was released sometime last February and this is the official one. There's an official one also which has additional more features but I'm gonna rely I'm gonna go ahead and download the official one as it's official of course and this is an AOSPA ROM an Android version 4.2.1 so we've, we'll be downloading two files it's the Paranoid Android uh, ROM itself and the latest G apps from this year so once you download them uh, copy them onto the SD card so once it's done copying you can remove the USB cable and make make sure you shut down your device so once your device has been fully shut down we're gonna head over to recovery mode that can easily be done by pressing volume up home button and power button all at once for 10 seconds and the boot up screen should blink twice which will signify that you're about to enter recovery mode and as you can see the second should boot yep it should blink twice there we go keep on holding until we enter recovery mode and there we go we are in recovery mode so we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset just delete all user data as you know we're coming from different roams and that we don't want any hiccups on the way or after installation I'm going to do a wipe cache partition and we're going to install zip from SD card use zip from SD card PA i9100 3.00 12 February 2013 we'll install that, that's the Paranoid Android um, uh, ROM and give that a minute or two so it only took a minute and a half to install the Paranoid Android ROM. So the next step we're going to do, we've got to install the G apps. So we're going to choose zip from SD card again. Head over down to G apps JB 2013-0301. That is the latest uh, G apps for, for, it's the latest G apps. Yes, yeah, so we're going to install that. Yes, install. And again, give this a couple of seconds to install or half a minute okay so it took roughly about 25 seconds to install we're gonna hit back go back I'm gonna get back to the main screen we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset again just to make sure that you know there won't be any problems I don't want any problems after installing or booting up for the first time and then we're gonna do a wipe cache partition after and it's done and we're gonna reboot system now so it should be presented with, yep, the Nexus uh, boot up logo. This is the same boot up as you get on the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7 and most likely the Nexus 10 also. So I'll be back once it's uh, fully boot up and it usually takes a couple of minutes again. So be patient with that guys. It's a first time boot so that's to be expected. So I'll be back once it's fully booted up. So we finally booted up. This is the welcome screen or this uh, startup or setup screen. So we we'll select start. English United States okay I don't have a SIM card we're going to skip that and we're going to skip also the Wi-Fi skip anyway so as you can see the DPI has slightly changed yes Philippine really time uh, we're going to next click next and next all right so welcome to the paranoid um, Paranoid Android Roam. As you can see, you've got different transitions here. Let's select settings. Ooh, look at that. We've got the tablet um, uh, user experience of the Nexus. We can always change it out later on. I'm trying to select about phone. And as you can see, it's running 4.2.1 Paranoid Android version 3.0. So this has been the installation guide for the Paranoid Android ROM. 
3.0 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. If you got any questions or if you encountered any problems during this installation guide, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And stay tuned for the upcoming review or an, the in-depth look of the Paranoid Android ROM uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S2, of course. I'll be posting that uh, within this week, later on this week. And if you got any comments or suggestions, feel free to post them below. So don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash, and thanks for watching.